Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Silly P. This is Gross Mordorf. This is a new mod map out by Atza VR, who bought us Vorpommen Rugen. Uh, 172.61 megabytes to download. I start here at a house, not a farmhouse, interestingly enough. We do have our sleep trigger. We do have. Pick up. In a fantastic colour, of course. Not quite Mississippi green, but not far off. The map looks like this. We have, I think it's 12 fields, 4 meadows and 4 viable forests. If we click on this, you'll see we've got a forest there, one there, a bit there and a bit there for the forests. Uh, we've got meadows, I think of some of the ones down here. Now, some of the plots are not viable. A lot of the ones, if we go back onto here, that have got... Um, a lot of the production chains and things on aren't so if i click on these areas around it the forest you can but the actual areas there you can't some of these little plots here you can buy i think these are the small meadows as well field prices i mean we start down here field 13 which is 28 grand smaller ones down in this section and then kind of work their way around up to the monster on field three here which is to be fair, for the size of it, 745,000, which isn't too bad at all. Uh, now, on uh, New Farmer, which is what I'm on, uh, on Normal Economy, you start with this plot here with field five and six, and this plot over here, which has got your silo on it. Um, obviously, on Farm Manager, to start from scratch, you don't own the land, but all of the buildings, all of the equipment, everything is here on all three game modes. And well, as I said before, as I already mentioned, as I said before, makes sound like ages ago, uh, as I already mentioned, we start in a house here. It's not a farmhouse over here, it's a house here. This plot of land you can't buy, so you can't sell that. You can buy the plot next to it, but you can't buy the plot we're on. Uh, so we're here at the start house. I'll talk about slot count when we get up to the main farm, which is not far to drive from here. Uh, we'll have a whiz round, we'll have a look at the scenery. Um, lighting, I, so far, I think is, is brilliant. Colour palette's really nice, it's vibrant, not too overly colourful. Sometimes, I've said before, people put loads of flowers and you know bright colours. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just kind of, you know... Um, I do like sometimes the Polish maps where you've got a slightly muted colour palette, but this is nice, it works well. So I'm going to head north, just up through the town. There's loads of buildings everywhere. There's a very nice feel to it. Now, it doesn't say whether it's based on an actual place or not. But if we just turn in here, we come down to the main farm area. Now, as I said, the buildings, machinery and everything is here on all three game modes. If I just pull in here, we'll walk around the yard from here, I think, and then grab the pickup on our way out. We've got some equipment here. We've got a lime uh, station just there. If we open up the garages. see a load more equipment all tucked away in here so the slot count in all three game modes is 1318 i don't know actually it's a good point i haven't come across a workshop trigger here on the farm i might have missed it just trying to think is there one in here let me just open this menu up just in case it's one of these and there's not a disc We've got turn on shed lights, just better double check. At the back here. Hang on, what's that? I'm going to just pick up objects. Hmm, that's curious. Because the um, vehicle shop, machinery store, is in quite a weird place as well. Um, so that's some of the machinery. We'll have a look at that in, in it's just a second. We have a hayloft just down here. Now, these are standard in game ones. Now, that's not to say there aren't some mods added in by the map maker. There are. We have got a liquid. Um, fertilizer slurry tank that's an extension here all of this can be sold the hayloft the barns the buildings you can get rid of all of it we're going to build mode and go across to it i can sell it if i want to um and put my own stuff down if, if i want to go down that route of course i can um, as far as mods go it's interesting because as I scroll across, we've got all the sheds and stuff that are kind of standard in game, but then we've got all these ones added in. So I think these have been put in by the, the map maker. Uh, we've then got, what was it, under silos. That one on the end there, the 6 million litre um, Nuero, I think is that one there. 
So it seems to have duplicated because they're exactly the same. Sometimes you get them duplicated because they've changed the capacities or especially with animal pastures, you've got more animal, animals in them. But they just seem to be duplicates. I, I can't see anything else. What I did find though under, what was it under? Was it under tools? Yeah, on the end here. Uh, we've got added in by the the, the map maker liquid fertilizer seed fertilizer and herbicide which we'll get to um, under production again we um, scroll across on the end we've got all of these because I think they're slightly tweaked versions of as far as I can tell so there are some some mods put in by the map maker as far as animals go yeah we've got the 722 500 they just seem to be identical versions of each other i'm not sure um so anyway, with that being said i think we've got one for horses there's a pasture on the end there not for pigs not for sheep chickens bees no um, and as far as um landscaping goes there's nothing that stands out with regard to textures that's it for the textures and plants is pretty much the same as well. We'll talk about the biogas plant as we are here. On all three game modes, you start with the biogas plant. So we're going to this menu here and scroll up under our production chains. We already have the biogas plant. That's all three game modes and you can't buy the plot of land either. So you just have the biogas plant. It's there and you have it to use. So carrying on, we have got um, a cow barn with robot. Always well, nice to have that robot. We've got the first of these is what was the first one? Fertilizer. This is a fertilizer point. Just there, we've got a fuel point. This is a 10,000 litre fuel tank, but it is empty, so you'd need to fill it first. Um, so, yeah, the first one is fertilizer. And as we come around, we've got the robot section. We've got a bit more of our machinery and equipment. This one will hold 80 cows. slurry point at that end with the extension um, and then we've got a milk point here you would need to put in a um, unless this is that can't be the manure heap surely I think you need to put in a manure heap I don't think that's that I think that's just decorative mm, I didn't check that I only just really noticed it uh, and more equipment here as we come round the large building we'll open the doors here this one's cavernous actually I need to check this one and actually see if there's a workshop trigger in here I don't think there is. More equipment in here. And as we swing around the building, you can see it's very, the, the map is pretty much flat. I'm trying to think as I went around if there's any hills at all. I don't think there are. Uh, what have we got next? So it was first size. This one's seed. So seed refill point. We've then got a uh, plough and cultivator. We've got a couple of silage clamps. There's plenty of space. Nice open area as well. Um, more of our grass equipment, ground equipment there. And as we move up here, this area here is your reset point. Um, because your, your, workshop, your workshop, your machinery store trigger, your store trigger is just there. And that's the point I was trying to... The workshop trigger, uh, sorry, the machinery store trigger is there, but it's not a workshop trigger. So you might have to place a workshop. But yeah, this, so this is your reset point. If anything needs to be reset, it resets here. Which, to be fair, this is the machinery store anyway. So this is where it would appear at the farm. So it kind of works out all right. If we go on to this menu and we scroll down and look at our start equipment. Um, we've got a Steyr. We've got the Class Action 870, 870. We've got a John Deere T560. We've got the pickup. We've got a couple of trailers, a couple of Class ones. One with extension, one without. Uh, we've got um, regular header for the harvester, plough and cultivator we've just seen. We've got a power harrow, subsoiler, seeders, uh, seeder and a planter. We've got the sprayer and fertilizer spreader we've seen as we've gone around, header trailer, forage wagon, and then mowers and tedders. Uh, we've got weights as well. You start with a fair bit of gear. Now, I did have a fiddle around because, like I said, you can remove the buildings. I got the slot count down around 1,200-ish. You might be able to get it a little bit lower, and I can't remember when I did that, whether I sold all the vehicles or not, or whether in my haste I just went around and cleared all the buildings. But, uh, yeah, about 1,200. It's not the end of the world. It's still playable, isn't it? I mean, it's not like... With the slot counts we've got available now, if you've got a map that came out that had, like, 2,500 slots already used, then you might be panicking a little bit. 
So, uh, right, let's grab the pickup. I say that field there, the one that's like way cheaper than I thought it was going to be, it's a massive field. When you look at the map, you think, oh yeah, that's a big field, but actually on the ground, it is huge. So, from here, we're going to whiz back out and we're going to go around to have a look at the uh, production chains around the place, the biogas plant, and just kind of get a general feel for the map, the area, and whether or not it's your cup of tea or not. So driving up here, we come to the bakery. So bakery point is either side of this, really. So there's your bakery just over there. We swing up here. We've got two more buy points. We've done fertilizer. We've done seed. This one is liquid fertilizer, and that one is herbicide. So you can come and collect them from here if you wish. Nice big open area. Now some of these, like I said, you can buy, some you can't. Um, and it's not a lottery, but yeah, that plot you can. So I was just thinking, you've got a big open area here. You can put more placeables down, you can put other stuff. We have got more of these barns and buildings all over the place. So if you were to put production chains down or have this as your main farm or, you know. Ah, oh, hang on. Right. We found it. The workshop trigger. <laughs> But I, I, I kind of did my quick whiz around the map, just to have a quick familiarise myself with it before I start the map tour. And I was a little drove past, right, there's more barns there, I'll mention that. I don't want maybe somebody thinks to open the doors, but I'm glad I did. Right, from here, now a couple of these routes we're going to have to drive out and back. I'll show you on the map again in a second. So I showed you the, the sort of fields and stuff, I didn't really go into detail on the sort of road layout or anything like that. So we are heading out to northeast. And right out in the northeast we've got the spinnery. Uh, I haven't encountered any traffic at all yet. It doesn't mention collectibles or anything like that, and there's, it also doesn't say anything about required mods, so it's fairly straightforward. So right out here in the northeast, we've got the spinnery. So I'll show it. I mean, I can't even drive into a car park without hitting a car. That's brilliant. So let's go to the map. Um, so as you can see, we started here and went up the main road and into the main farmyard. And we could have driven up out through the farmyard and out in the back way here, but went up through here and did the bits here with the bakery and a couple of buy points. Now we drive all the way out here to the northeast of the spinnery, but there's no circuit route really. So you have to come back down and we drive out to the biogas plant, which is there. Now rather than drive back down and back out, I'm going to cut across the grass there. Then we'll come out, we'll back down and we'll come into the village itself. But then we come sort of down out here to these cell points, then you have to come back up through the village and then out to these ones. Again, I suppose I could cut across, but I'm, I'm, you know, we'll kind of do a route round and we'll take everything in. Just look at that field there. How much is that one? 602, yes, yeah, so that is definitely the, the larger of them all. So I will see you sort of back down in towards the village. And then we'll head out to the north in the middle of the map to the biogas plant. We'll check that out. Like I said, all three game modes, you have the biogas plant. So we're now heading back down past a bit we haven't been to before. I, I really do like the layout of it. There are some, there's a lot of uh, fencing and hedges and stuff around where all the houses and buildings stuff out. But out in the countryside, there's plenty of open space. So as far as using larger equipment, because you've got some big fields, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, it, it really it has got a very nice feel to it. There's lots of detail. And considering the slot count is, uh, the um, download is, what, 172.61 megabyte. It's not horrendously high farm dogs having a mare today I don't know what's that could be the heat but anyway <laughs> as we can hear so right out to the north biogas plant we've got three silage clamps I think at this one it's a big old uh, big old building let's swing around oh these aren't automatic are they <laughs> I did that when I came around to do my quick sort of look around the map you think I would remember, don't you? Um, I do like the fact this kind of sweeps up. You got it's, it's very different. So it sweeps up onto the uh, two large silage camps with a track down the middle there. We've got another large silage camp there, and the biogas plant itself just here. Uh, we will whiz through. Just have a quick look. Yeah, I know we kind of already did, but there we go. 500 kilowatt. 
It's a big old building for a 500 kilowatt bit. Anyway, it's a 500 kilowatt. And it will take silage, slurry, manure and sugar beet cut. Fairly standard, I think. It's not, you know, nothing's been changed to take any other crop types. I don't think it runs any faster in particular. I mean, it's difficult unless you've got all the stats for every biogas plant that, and modded biogas plant to... I always try and kind of have a look. Some of them stand out as being obvious. You kind of look at it, wow, okay, that's that's insane, but I think it's fairly standard. So from the biogas plant, like I said, we're going to cut across. Because otherwise we've got to drive away into town all the way back out again, which we could do, but I think just for the ease of... Uh, and we're not cutting across anyone's fields, we're just across the top here. So a bit of forestry and stuff. I say forestry there. Mm, yeah, this bit isn't, is it? I'm just trying to look on the map. Let's... I was going to say, those are really nightmarish trees to do. Where am I here? Oh, I don't know, though. This is a plot you can buy. Oh, blimey. Yeah, these aren't trees you want to be cutting down, are they? Ooh, okay. They're really fiddly to do. Sawmill is here. Having just said that, that's really fiddly to do. Sawmill's here. Production chain sawmill. Just up here. And then... As we swing around, I don't think I can cut across the grass here. There's an interesting bit actually, it kind of stood out to me here. I mean, it did make me wonder whether it's kind of based in part on a real place or not. The fact it's all very flat as well. Uh, so, as we come round from the biogas plant sawmill, carpentry is next. Just there. So, we're going to drive down. You've got like an old um, Nissan hut, we call it a Nissan hut in the UK, there. And then the next one we sort of see as we drive around makes me wonder whether it was kind of an old airfield kind of thing because you've got that building there. You used to see a lot of these around the UK on old airfields. The old sort of hangar, Nissan huts, covered in earth, built in you know, against air raids and that kind of stuff in the war. And it just, it's one of those things, it's interesting, it's been put in and you think, if it wasn't there you wouldn't know, it'd just be a patch of grass, but it just adds potential narrative and, st and story to the map, doesn't it? You think, oh, I, I wonder why that's there. What it, yeah. Anyway, I do. I don't know what anyone else does. Uh, we've got our oil mill just here. And then we've got Johnson's Farmer's Market just there. The rest of the buildings are uh, just decorative. So it's just oil mill and Johnson's Farmer's Market up here. And we're going to head south from here down the western side of the map. And then we're going to head in towards the town. Village. Is it a town? town, I guess. It is a bit bigger than a village, isn't it? So from here, we're going to cut onto the main road and head into the town. So we're kind of coming at a diagonal. I should have done that. Oh, ah, no! I was looking down at my map bottom left. I wanted that one on. <clears throat> Nobody saw anything, okay? Nothing happens, nothing to see here. I'm doing this map tour with the usual professionalism I approach my map tours with. So on the left hand side, we've got the restaurants. Just there. And now we're looking at the lovely church on the right hand side. We're going to look for, there should be a turning right. I mean, like I say, the detailing. No, that isn't. That, that's just there as a place. It's not um, a spinnery or anything like that, but it looks like an old hotel or something like that. It's just... Yeah. Very cool. So, we head down here. And take a right. So this is the bottom of the map I showed you where we're going out to the sort of southwest and then we'll go southeast. So we're going to swing around here first. I mean, this is one of those maps as well, with all these houses. Actually, I don't know if the gate's all open. Do they open? They do. I was just say, you could set up yourself a, a, a little lawn mowing business, you know? Have some trailers, have some small, the, the profi hoppers or, you know, those kind of things. And come out and you could go around mowing all the lawns. And I, I, I don't know, it's just an idea. It just kind of pops into your head. It kind of fits the map with all the, the houses and all the stuff that's here. Uh, right, you can see the silo there, just right. No, it's a six million litre silo. As far as I can tell, it's a standard crop type one. 
that's there that can be sold you can place a smaller one or a different one or if you do start with that if you buy the farm and this or if you're on new farmer you start with this plot of land which has got all that grass and stuff around it um actually i don't know let's check build mode i want to try and demolish can i get rid of the fence panel yes you can that's cool so if you wanted to you could demolish some of the fence panels you could put in a gate so you can get to the grass because otherwise i think it's all fenced in all the way around it i think it's open at the end oh, it looks like it's fenced in so yeah you could put yourself a gate in and then you could use that for cutting the grass or whatever you could put a smaller silo on it if you wanted to that would be tied up to you of course that's your silo then heading out to the far west we have got the so not Johnson's farmers market this is just a farmers market and the dairy so the farmers market is a sell point the dairy is a production chain which obviously is a sell point until you buy it and then it becomes a production chain dairy is just here A lot of fencing around all these sections but like i say once you get down to the fields there's sort of no restrictions really some of the fields i know i know the pomon rugen was one of those maps that um i'm sure it had like telegraph poles or, or power lines and stuff wasn't it in the middle of fields and i know when it first came out people were like, oh, I, you know, I don't like that because you can't remove them this one you've got some trees and stuff but those can be fairly easily removed can't they and i like that it kind of adds something more you know when you've got a field with trees in the middle and you have to work around them. I just find it a bit more interesting, you know, it breaks up the scenery a little bit. So, swinging into here, we've got our animal dealer sell point, which is just there. And then we've got our livestock market animal dealer point for buying, selling, loading or unloading your animals. So, sell point over there, point here for your animals. We'll have a quick check back on our map. So, from the biogas plant, we cut across there. We did all of those, the hangar whatever it was there that's the other nissan hut there we then came down there into the middle to the restaurant we cut down that road and then past all the houses here large six million litre grain silo farmers market dairy we've come back across here and we're now here um, at the sell point and the um, animal dealer and we're just going to pop down there to the debris crusher then from there we go back up past there to here and then we're going to do the points down this bottom corner it's a bottom corner bottom part i think i can go across here as well so if you can just see it through it's a debris crusher so we've got a debris crusher just down there so for your rocks and stuff well your rocks and stuff for your rocks stones rocks and then refer to debris crusher tucked away very neatly here so i'm going to see you in a moment at the next point of interest I thought I'd start talking again now. Just to drive back up this way, you can see the church really nicely. I didn't really kind of do it justice when we were driving on before, but yeah, very nice indeed. So we're just gonna take a right here. We came down and around, but we're gonna go this way. Because here we've got a horse paddock. This will hold 15, 15 of your earth horses. Uh, requires water, requires feed in big old paddock as well for 15 which is pretty cool uh, but this one again actually i'll say it again uh, we are here yes yeah, so you've got the paddock but you can't buy the land um because i thought oh that'd be cool if you I mean you could sell the paddock if you didn't want to you've got a large grass expanse here but you can't actually buy it the paddock is here um it, i don't I mean, I'd be very surprised if you could sell it. You can sell it. Hmm. But if you don't own the land, they let you cut the grass. That's curious. It's like a bit different. You wouldn't be able to place anything on it if you... You know what? I don't own the land. Let's try something. Let's try production. Let's pick something that's not too expensive. Yeah, land is not owned by you. So even if you could sell the horse paddock, you can't buy the land, you don't own it. So you might as well just leave it there, I guess. Hmm, curious. Right, from here. Sorry, just... Things that just struck me as I'm going along. 
Uh, we want to turn, I think, down here. Which one's down here? As they hove into view. You can see how easy it would be to plough fields together or make larger fields if you wanted to. This is the bottom section where you've got these ones and obviously I would say kind of start fields. They're a bit smaller, cheaper to buy. You can kind of get yourself going then build up if you wanted to or if you want to just buy bigger fields. Just do it for <laughs> uh, Grain meal to the right hand side just there and then sugar mill tucked away here just want to double check something again here because I'm curious won't let me sell those I mean to be fair I don't own the land and like I said a lot of the plots you can't actually buy uh, what I'm going to do now is actually there's no crop in it oh, that's it been seeded it might be I know it doesn't matter but I want to drive across someone's crop. Through the bushes. And out onto this little track here, which takes us down to the biomass heating plant, which is right down in the southeast. Just down here. And behind us again. See, I'm puzzled by the forestry thing. Oh, we're not gonna lie. Because we click on that, that's a forest you can buy for 141 grand. So that's your biomass eating plant. But the trees that are in this forest for forestry, these you can't cut these down with regular tree I say tree harvest. I always refer to it as a tree harvester. These are the proper gnarly ones. They're gonna take a lot of a lot of cutting with chainsaws, taking the branches off and it's interesting that. It's not pine or fir or anything like that. So we're at the bottom corner of that massive field. And our farm's just up there. And that's the map. That's the tour. We went from the debris crusher up around there past the horse pasture. We then came down this track here. Grain mill, sugar mill. I then cut around the side of there up there and we came down here to the biomass heating plant forest at the bottom i said right across there is the farm and back into the town from here that is gross mordorf by atza vr i hope i said that right i'm sorry if i didn't um i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do Thanks for watching.